Hi, good morning. This is Austin Gridley Pickleball uh, coming with you a video about if you're holding the paddle Eastern all the time, I'm trying to save you time, why you should switch it and why I've chosen to do so. Uh, so basically, when I first started pickleball, I held the paddle Eastern and I've I held it that way for two and a half years. I would the majority hold it Eastern and then for some forehand putaways I would switch it to Continental or Western uh, but majority of the time I had it Eastern. Um, reason why I started that way is uh, I thought from tennis or like with what little little tennis I had I thought it was I was actually holding it Continental. I was holding it Eastern so that that was a mistake and no one showed me until after like three months I'd been playing so I was, I was used to it. Uh, but and then uh, just the holding it more like tennis made more sense to me than playing like uh, holding it like a ping pong paddle even though I had a lot more ping pong experience just made more sense to hold it more like a tennis paddle a tennis racket so that's what I chose to do uh, so anyways I, I held it that way um, for about two and a half years and then after about two and a half years over the course of two months I kind of subconsciously it started to switch to semi-eastern uh, so briefly we'll we'll go over the the grips I'm not gonna spend too much time on this it's more about content uh, so uh, so this is eastern middle of your like thumb like let's see like the very middle of your thumb in, is in the like you see this crevice here it's in the middle there and then semi-eastern is like you're, you're in between the crevice, and so you're halfway between eastern and continental, and then continental is in the very middle, semi-western, western, and then uh, there's other ones that are more extreme, then there's ping pong, or that one's, some people do that one, so those are kind of the grips of pickleball. Okay, so um, I switched it from eastern to semi-eastern and <coughs> uh, after I did that uh, I tried to I, I switched it back right right away after I realized I changed it I'm like well I should be doing what I normally do like why did I change that and so I switched it back uh, for like maybe four or five days and <coughs> over the course of the four or five days uh, I didn't see as good results with it. Like one day I was playing with some better players and uh, I had been, I had worked out, I was tired and so I was not doing as well against them and I was blaming, uh, I was blaming that. But then, I mean, I was thinking about it and I was like, you know, I'm losing a lot of these random firefights, especially with my forehand and it, I think it's because I'm holding it Eastern. And so, and it, I switched it back, I switched it back to semi-Eastern and honestly, it's not a huge difference. Uh, like, I can do both fairly easily. Part of it is I've had so much experience playing at this point. Uh, but I switched it back, and it, I mean, instantly, as soon as I do that, I, it's, my hands are probably 30% faster, which is a huge jump for just, like, changing the grip a little bit, and everything, every other shot was working good. What I found initially from switching it from Eastern to Semi-Eastern was I think it, I think I don't think this was actually true. I thought maybe my backhand roll isn't as good, like my backhand flip. Uh, but I don't think that was actually true. I think it was about the same. It wasn't awful. And then I couldn't do my backhand slice dink cross court, and, which was one of my it was probably one of my top favorite shots. Maybe my favorite shot. Like six months ago, it was my favorite shot in all of pickleball. I was doing it really well. Uh, so I was like, okay, well. Everything else is working so much better. I'm going to sacrifice the slice dink. I'll hit it flat, and then, uh, and then, we'll, and then I'll, I'll, everything will be better. And I found that I liked the the flat one better because against Deco Bar, Ben Johns, it, I was able to hit it harder with more pace and able to move them better and keep them more honest. And the slice one was just too slow they had time to react if they if and so anyways I preferred that shot and so anyways I found pretty much only benefits from switching to semi-eastern and and only negatives with the eastern grip and 
let's talk about who held it. Who's who holds it primarily Eastern? Uh, from what I understand, I did a poll on the pickleball forum, and there was Aspen Kern, and there was me. And so, anyways, I don't, I don't know if Aspen still holds it that way. He probably still does, uh, but I mean, I was probably. I know Ben holds it semi Eastern as well, so I'm switching it to the way Ben holds it. Um, but as one of the top, the very top players who holds the paddle primarily Eastern, and I'm switching it, I would highly recommend switching your paddle to your grip to semi Eastern. You should see some much better results. And so, when, anyways, if you hold your paddle Eastern, the majority of the times, like some shots, you can switch it to Eastern, and like that, that's fine. That makes sense. Some shots, I change it to Western or Continental. Um, but if, anyways, if you're holding it Eastern, uh, the majority of the time, I'd highly recommend switching it to Semi-Eastern. Uh, if you would, share this with someone who does hold it Eastern that you know, try to help them out. Uh, share this video, give it a like. I appreciate your support. And uh, let, me, let me know if you see some good results with switching it. Uh, this is Austin Gray, the Pickleball. Have a great day, Pickle-in. Pickle-on, dude.